I flew overheads, I'm a traveling man One sick motherfucker with a wayfair plan To eliminate the feeling of the devil off my shoulders I remain a soldier, solving all this with composure If X marks the spot, then give me three X's Bitch, drink hands like I hold them More or less I mold them I even turn my ashes into diamonds if I smold them Um, well, the point that I got involved in music was probably like around when I was like 14, 15. But see, the thing is, I was always like, I had music around me a lot, but I just didn't tap into the talent until around like 14, 15. And basically, like I said, um, in like other interviews, I, like I always say, like basically Joey was like rapping on tables in middle school. I mean, rapping at like probably like lunchtime, classrooms, whatever, this at the third when we were like 15, 14 in middle school. And then I would just beat on the table with pens and stuff like that to just give them a beat and stuff like that. And Joey was the one who told me to take my talents into an actual program, like this thing called FL Studio at the time. That's when I was using FL Studio. And then from there, that's where it built, and then that's where you got to go. With the orphans through the street, violins playing as another black coffin speaks at the door of another ignorant phone call. Who's this calling me at 5.47 in the morning? Crack a dawn It was the first time that me and Joey went to uh, um, overseas to London, and that's after 1999 dropped, and it was just like, just the fact that music has reached across the pond is what motivated me to be like, okay, well, we can all do music. Like, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. Yeah. It's just all about your how passionate you are for it. Like, because there's some people who do it for just money, which is like, understandable. At the end of the day, money makes the world go around in this current day and age. And then there's certain people that do it for the passion, just for the love, just to see the happiness in somebody's face when you drop a new song, so. It's more 90, 95 BPM. Like, that's one thing I can say about, like, East Coast rap. Like, we're all from that area of poverty-stricken, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're all on the struggle trying to make something of ourselves. So that's, like, basically the environment that I was around that made us be hood with expensive taste. You know what I'm saying? So. Seen it with my obstacle. Hopped on the scene like an obstacle. And I'm looking around the joint, get an obstacle. But baby, how much are you moving? Possible. And I'm like, damn, probably need a monocle. And I'm feeling prime time, yeah, the eyes are cool. So let me just scoot right next to you. And I know that my moves feel like optimal. I said, I don't even live in my na or my old neighborhood anymore. But at the end of the day, I always come back just because of the fact that it gives me inspiration for me to be able to talk about those topics that people don't want to talk about or those topics that relate to everybody in a situation of doubt you know what i'm saying so 12 and i'm riding with a bosses beast coast no, can't stop us hey me shit blocking my chakras this is but a dream life is not what it's on mtv jams like every single morning when i was going to i think either either high school the beginning of high school i used to get ready to this song by currency currency the rapper um named michael knight and that's before I knew what Michael Knight was. So basically I was just like, Michael Knight, Michael Knight, Michael Knight. And Kirk is a neighborhood name because my real name is Curlin, but like people in my neighborhood didn't want to call me that. Not saying it in a bad way, but it's just like Curlin, like it's weird. So they was like, yo, Kirk, for short. Yeah. So then I added Kirk Knight together because I, Michael Knight was my favorite song. And then the other reason is I'm an insomniac. Like I don't really sleep, I work a lot. Um, I'm obsessed with the nighttime. I feel like the nightlife is way better than the daytime. Mm -hmm. So like it just made perfect sense to be like, all right, Kirk Knight. Yeah, so. Cool Boy Q off the rip though. That's one of my favorite rappers. So, Q. <laughs> I make the beat first. Sometimes I write the verse first. It all depends on how I want to attack the song because sometimes if I write a verse to a beat, it would be in the atmosphere of the beat instead of it being the atmosphere of the song. Like, I don't know if that is explained right, but like if I was to write something, that's purely my thoughts. There's not like any sound attached to it or making it be like, oh, it's this type of record. It's just my thoughts. But if it's a beat, then I make that type of record because I made the beat first. You get know what I'm saying? And and when I make the beat first, I like when I make the beat first, then I would make the hook second. Like I'm not like a verse 
kind of dude I always worry about the hook because of the fact that a hook is the topic of the whole song. So once you get the topic of the whole song, then you can write the verses in my head. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. From the dead, you don't know how much a nigga wanted Till diamond cuts on the wrist, so emo to flaunt it Till every queen I fuck is flawless, left that honest Never been on court, but heavily point guarded Addicted to life, but never hit rock bottom Busting moves on cities and vets, watch how we are them Never matter the weather, any matter, ah, fuck I'm, like, meticulous as hell, so it's just like Certain times, like, when I'm making a record, it's like I don't think it's done until like I already overproduced it, you know what I'm saying? So I have to give myself the limit to be like, okay, Kirk, you need to stop, this song is done. It's like, I sometimes I could take, sometimes the song could take me literally five minutes, like I'm like, oh shit, damn, that's it right there. Or it'll take me like three to four weeks on the same record just because I just always find that I could do a cadence different or I could do this different or, you know, I feel like the DJ thing is ill because then it's like if I make a record, like say if I just drop a banger with um, somebody from the Beast Coast, then if I play like a party the next day, I could play that same record and I'd be like, yeah, I produced it. Da, da, da. Like, I don't know. It's just like a circle of like talent for me that just keeps going back into each other. So. Things alive in the nighttime took baby steps, still stuck at the crib. Train of thought was off the rail, got broke. Now I'm street smart, unstable, I haven't given ribs. These are my sons, and life's so hard, they your mother couldn't. kind of stays connected. And what project, you mentioned a project that you're working on this year. Can you chill, tell us chill, about chill, that? Chill, or is it, chill, yeah? Chill, 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 chill. I might, I might. Okay, I we'll might. keep it, we'll I hold might. on. You know what I'm saying, I might. I don't know, because I've been, like I said, I've been trying to really hone in on my skills and try to figure out, like, basically what I want to do because I, I do a lot of things I'm multi-talented so it's just like I'm trying to compartmentalize in my life what I need to do now what I need to do in the near future what I need to do in the future like you know what I'm saying so because the signs to the end in this pooch to find my beliefs now a nigga only way is to move because at the end of the day nobody's perfect but what happens with me is my pros outweigh my vices so it's not like my vices control me you know what I'm saying so it's just like I just want to be that role model that nothing stopped him is just like the, the possibility is endless when you think about Kirk Knight. He's just creating. He's just creating. At the end of the day, people just need to create because even if you create and your idea isn't the biggest, just the stress that you released from creating that idea is good progress enough, you know? So.